What is up everybody? Welcome back to Crack and Packs MTG. We got a short and sweet video for you today. This is a double masters collector box for my Facebook group member, Michael S. Um, we got a second wave of these. We got multiple, multiple cases. And there's a real odd happening with these. The etched rare slash mythic slot has been almost all, I'd say 90% anguish unmakings. And I want to see if I can catch it on video. And I appreciate Michael for sponsoring this box. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment to get on the giveaways. Um, we hit 18,000 subscribers, 17,000, I don't even know where I'm at. We, I'm giving away two booster boxes of, of something this month. And I'm going to do the drawing this Friday, so make sure you're commenting and all the other stuff. That way you're entered in that. But without further ado, let's rip this Double Masters collector box from Michael. And let's see if we can catch all these anguish unmakings on camera. I actually sent a help ticket to Wizards about it because it seems to be a pretty common thing that I've been seeing going around. But uh, four booster packs here for Michael. And I feel like at the price point of these, I feel like an error like that is, is pretty unacceptable. And, and, you know, Wizards is pretty good about making things right, so hopefully they will. Um, but let's get started. Pack number one for Michael. Going to get through the commons and uncommons and get to the borderless stuff. We have a Unearth, a Is It Boilerworks, a Foil Is It Boilerworks, Foil Eternal Witness. Oh, that's a good start. Foil Cavern of Souls. It gets even better. Borderless Teferi's Protection. And again, the Etched Anguish Unmaking. And a Borderless Vidalcan Ori. This card shows up quite a bit too. I guess that's normal seeing how it's a rare. But uh, lots of Ori's. But every single pack for the most part, like I said, 90% of them in that Etched slot is having the Anguish Unmaking. So sleeved up these hits. We'll leave the Unmaking unsleeved. Move on to pack number two. So my thinking on this is possibly because the they there was an email that was sent out that said the first wave of double masters, like the allocations were cut and there'd be a delay. I think that, that this was a known problem and they, they didn't send these out for the initial wave. And then when people started wanting more of them, that's when we got them with the uh, anguish unmaking error. Figure of destiny, look at his eyes. What did he see? Borderless Damnation, that's a nice card. Love the artwork, super creepy there. Is it an Anguish Unmaking? It is, it's an Anguish Unmaking. It's almost like you can predict these things. And the last hit, Borderless Foil, Marquesa the Black Rose. It's a very, very pretty card there. Sleeve up these, uh, these other cards. Let's see if we can go four for four on unmakings. For Michael's sake, I hope not. But we're going to find out. Pack number three. Commons and uncommons up first. Then we'll get to our borderless stuff. Coiling Oracle. The Thickest Witness. Kasali Pride Mage. Burning Tree Shaman. Got a little Gargadon action here. Moving into a privileged position. Really good card. Triple tap on the Anguish Unmaking. I, how did this happen? And last pack. Oh! This may be the, my favorite art in the set. The art is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite cards of all time. This is... Uh, I, may, I may have to get myself a place out of these borderless foil tops. Or at least borderless. Such, such a cool card. Such beautiful artwork. Let me just go ahead and uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll make a cool guy pile with the hits here. We're not in a hurry. This is only four packs. And then we'll put, I'll, I'll put the privileged position there and the Marquesa. They're all cool guys. We'll sleeve up this greater Gargadon just for good measure. And last pack here, guys. Can we bat 1,000 on Anguish Unmakings? Commons and Uncommons. Borderless and Borderless Foil. Alicia's going to smile at death. 
Oh, a smothering tie. This artwork is epic. You want that, That's some knuckles right there. Four for four on Anguish Unmaking. You know, on a $300 booster box, this feels bad. You get four hits. 25% of your hits is the same card in a slot that could be the most valuable if it was the Imperial Seal, the Renin Six, etc., etc. But last hit here for Michael is going to be a foil Teferi's Protection. We didn't get a borderless foil Mythic, but we did get solid hits throughout. Not a bad box. Other than this slot, if these were replaced with potentially one of those being another one of the top hits, this would have been a very nice box, but we didn't get that. So let me know your opinion on this Anguish Unmaking mystery. Like I said, I sent a help ticket to the Wizards. Hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll get back with me because I've no joke in the past two days probably opened 50 of these. Um, and that feels bad, you know, spending, spending a whole tank of gas on a booster pack and getting the same etched hit in every pack. But solid box nonetheless. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment for the giveaways. We'll be doing those Friday. I love your faces, and we will see you in the next one.